The Barcode Battler is a handheld gaming console released by Epoch in March 1991. The console at retail was supplied with a number of cards, each of which had a barcode. Upon starting the game, the player must swipe a barcode representing a player. The game uses barcodes to create a character for the player to use. Not all barcodes work as players. Instead some represent enemies or power-ups. Because of the ubiquity of barcodes in daily life, players were encouraged to go beyond the barcodes provided with the game itself and to experiment to find their own barcode monsters and power-ups from everyday products like food and cleaning products. Once the game itself is started, the characters battle against each other. The character's statistics were applied to an algorithm containing a random number generator to determine the outcome of each round in the fight. History The original Barcode Battler was released by Epoch in Japan only. It was identical in shape to the worldwide released Barcode Battler and had a white case. Battles on this machine are much more simplistic than its successor, with support only for soldiers, and infinite survival points. In 1992, a successor unit called the Barcode Battler 2 was released featuring interface capabilities with the Famicom and Super Famicom. Popularity The Barcode Battler was very popular in Japan a Euro. The idea of experimenting with and collecting barcodes to find out what they would equate to in the gaming world fired the imaginations of many people. Outside of Japan, it was a massive flop. It was hyped up and sold in shops alongside the Game Boy and the Game Gear to which it bore some superficial similarities. By comparison, the gamma play of the barcode battler was repetitive, featured no graphics, sound effects or controls, and it was quickly forgotten by the general gaming public. However, the recent release of devices such as Nintendo's e-reader, as well as barcode games in arcades in the UK such as Dinosaur King and Love and Berry has shown that there is now an interest in the market. The barcode battler grew in popularity in Japan so much that special edition cards were created. The special edition cards were characters from Super Mario, Legend of Zelda, and many others. These cards had their own barcodes and unique stats and powers. Nintendo licensed special edition cards were produced for both the Mario series and the The Legend of Zelda series. Other special edition versions were commissioned by Falsom and NTV. Barcode Battler 2 The popularity of the Barcode Battler was such that in 1992, a follow up handheld called the Barcode Battler 2 was designed to provide enhanced functionality. It featured an extended single player mode, a wider variety of game elements, and an output port designed with interface capabilities, a feature that Nintendo took advantage of in licensing the Barcode Battler 2 interface unit. The BBII interface allowed the Barcode Battler to be attached to the Famicom and Super Famicom consoles similar to the way the Game Boy Player allows for interfacing of the Nintendo GameCube with the e-reader. The functionality of the Barcode Battler 2 while on this connection was purely as a barcode reader and the GAMI Play depended purely on the game cartridge in the machine it was connected to. Sometime in 1992-1993, Epoch released the Barcode Battler 2 across the world, under the name of Barcode Battler. Essentially, the worldwide release differed from the Japanese model only in the design of the LCD screen a Euro it had an English interface instead of a Japanese one. It still had the output port, but no game support outside of Japanese releases. Also, the artwork on the manuals and barcode cards differed to suit the Western gaming audience equals interfaced games equals, due to the professional relationship between Epoch Company and Nintendo, Epoch designed a number of games for the Famicom and Super Famicom that required the use of the Barcode Battler 2 and BBII interface to play or to enjoy enhanced functions. These games included, Barcode World, Barcode Battler Senki, Super Senshi Shotsugiki Siro, Dragon Slayer 2, Hatai Yama Hatch no Proye Color News. Jitsumu Han, Doraemon 2, Nobita's Great Adventure Toys Land, J League 94, Doraemon 3, Nobita and the Jewel of Time, Lupin 3, Densetsu no Hero OA. The Amazing Spider-Man, Lethal Foes, J League 95 Donald Duck No. Maha no Bashi, Alice No Paint Adventure. See also, Barcode Fighter, 
List of Barcode Games, Nintendo E-Reader, D-Scanner, Sconnerts, Monster Rancher, Monster Generation. References. External links, media related to Barcode Battler at Wikimedia Commons.